Grandes and Grandes, what's happening? She got a black abstract. We're going to talk about Kendrick Lamar performing at the Apple Music 59th Super Bowl celebration. The people are upset. We'll get into it right after this. Welcome back to the Black Abstract Show. I am your host, the Black Abstract. You're now tuned in. Do me a favor before we get started. Make sure you go on all my socials and make sure you follow. You follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter as the Black Abstract. Instagram as the Black Abstract. Facebook as the Black Abstract as well. You can inbox me. You got any show ideas? I'm down to learn. I'm down to listen. You got any questions? I'm down to learn and listen. Now let's get into the meat and bones of this thing. Kendrick Lamar would have surprised everybody. He was tapped to perform at the 59th Super Bowl. They have tapped Kendrick Lamar, and people are in an uproar because they're performing it in New Orleans, and people are wondering, why wouldn't they call Lil Wayne? Yes, being as though he's from the city, it's his hometown, he has a plethora of hits, he's one of the biggest rappers in the world of all time, one of the greatest. Why wouldn't they call Wheezy F Baby to perform? I don't have an answer. I will entertain this and play devil's advocate. People are saying this and leaving this up to Jay-Z because his long-standing beef with Drake, that he's snubbing Lil Wayne intentionally, and that's why he's doing this. If you don't know why people are saying this, Rock Nation is in charge of finding the talent for the Super Bowl. That's why the last five or six Super Bowls we've had black entertainers because this has been Jay Z's doing. Uh, I don't know here. I feel I feel conflicted. I remember when you conflicted, <laughs> but I feel conflicted here because on one hand, yes, I would love to see Lil Wayne get his flowers. He's a living legend. He's put the time in. He's put the work in. He's discovered some of the greatest talent of all time, i.e. Drake, Nicki Minaj, Tyga. And he's also consistently currently working. And he has a plethora of hits, and he has a catalog that goes and dates back to the early 2000s. He could have brought the Hot Boys up on stage. He could have even brought Master P and reunited or united Baby and Master P because in No Limit or Cash Money in No Limit, I should say. And it just would have been monumental. You know, it, it's so many ways that he could have went with this or they could have went with this. And it's unfortunate that, you know, it won't happen. All right. Now, on the other hand, somebody pointed out the Super Bowl has been in New Orleans four or five other times and they also said that whenever a super bowl is in a particular city they don't normally have an artist from that city they normally you know we're just now getting into the urban artists per se performing at the super bowl so when maroon five performed at the super bowl they weren't from the city they performed they just got tapped to perform. black ips they just got tapped to perform dr dre was the first person that was actually from his city when the Super Bowl was in that city and performed. I think he might have been the first artist. You know, Michael Jackson performed at the Super Bowl for the Buffalo Bills. I don't know where the Super Bowl took place at. I don't remember back then, but the motherfucker wasn't from... It wasn't in Gary, Indiana. <laughs> so uh, people got to keep that in mind. You know, they have to keep that in mind that it's not about because it's in your city that you perform. Yes, it felt like that. The, the continuum fell that way because Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, I think it was just easier to get all these artists that were from this city and made sense, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, it makes sense for Lil Wayne to perform. Yes, we all want that. We're championing that. Maybe Kendrick will bring him out. I don't think so because of the longstanding feud between Kendrick and Drake that just took a head. Drake losing the battle. Weezy ultimately siding with Drake, I don't think it's going to happen. But, hey, we can all be optimistic and see what happens. If Wayne does come out on the Kendrick set, does that sever Drake and Lil Wayne's relationship? Or does he bring out Drake as well, as well as J. Cole, and they all cash in, go on a tour together, and make it a monumentous moment? I don't see that happen. Drake's in his feelings. He's petty. 
And also, if you call somebody a PDF file, you can't really get over that, you know? I will say this, and, this, and I'm gonna leave this at this, I'm gonna close this out. I think that instead of crying about why Little Wayne's not performing at the Super Bowl, I think collectively us as a culture and as black folk, as skin folk, should be supportive of Kendrick Lamar. This is an artist who hasn't been compromised, who hasn't sold his soul. He doesn't talk about drinking lean. He doesn't talk about codeine. He has a squeaky clean image. He makes music that's uplifting for his people and he makes he has the uncanny ability to not only do that he can make music for the masses and he's still young he's in his prime he hasn't got whack he's not washed up he had the biggest song of the summer this is a win for us as much as we love little wayne and we want to see him get his flowers kendrick lamar is of the culture he is the the hottest rapper out right now and to some he has eclipsed little wayne me personally i think and I know y'all gonna kill me in the comments for that, but I think at this time and point, Kendrick Lamar is the better rapper than Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne still raps at a high level, but his subject matter hasn't changed from 2008. He talks about the same shit. Kendrick Lamar touches on social commentary. He can he can he can get dirty into a battle rap and go full uh, Super Saiyan. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm not an anime fan, but. This is a wholesome image. He had a hot summer, a fire hot career. And on the bright side, us as Kendrick fans, and I'm a Drake fan too, so I don't want y'all to think I'm swiping at Drake. We might be getting a Kendrick album because typically artists release music around the Super Bowl, same way Usher did. So we have something to look forward to. We got an album to look forward to. This is the perfect rollout. So keep that in mind before y'all before y'all down Kendrick Lamar to up Lil Wayne. Think about what this does for us as a culture. We still have a young, black, talented rapper that keeping the culture alive and making the hip hop form the still the number one form art form in the music genre because they're trying to get us out of there they're trying to get hip-hop out of here they're, you know that's why they're pushing the taylor swifts the post malones they don't we've been we've been raining for too long and they they can't figure out a way to get us out you know that's why the drake and kendrick brief had to happen to bring us back to the forefront but it gets deep. I'm getting too deep on y'all. Post your comments below. I want to know what you uh, guys want. I want to. I wanted to do a five minute video. I went over. Maybe I'll edit it. But post your comments below. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know. Listen. This is a win for the culture. Yes, we want Lil Wayne to perform. Yes, he deserves his flowers. But also Kendrick Lamar is a, is a great artist as well. We can't we can't minimize that. And like he said, no round twos. Peace. <laughs>